everybody, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be working on a 10 by 20 canvas and I have some really pretty colors. I'm just going to use four today and I'm going to be doing a traveling kiss pour. So my colors are mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol and water, and a little bit of Golden GAC 800. So I did my first traveling kiss pour in my previous video and I wasn't really happy with my results. I mean, they were okay. So I've got two more cups and I'm gonna give it another go. And I think what happened was I didn't necessarily like the flow of it. I definitely didn't um, dump too much out. The flow was too um, thin. I put too thin a, of a layer through the center of the canvas. So this time I'm going to try to dump more out and make a bigger line through the center. Um, so hopefully those changes will make a difference. So I'm going to start with my white in the bottom of the first cup and that is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And the second color that I'm putting is from Liquitex Basics, and that is Mars Black. And now I'm gonna use gold. It's really a nice soft gold, and that is also from Liquitex Basics. And a little bit more white, and you can see how I pour my colors down the side. It really does help um, with the layering. And then that is Extreme Sheen Copper uh, from Deco Art. So I am going to continue to uh, pour my uh, paints in my cup and while you guys are watching me do that, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified of all of my new videos. And if you're already subscribed, I do really appreciate you continuing to watch. Alright, so I'm still putting the paint in the cup. You can see overhead um, that the paints are layered really, really nice. That definitely helps with the um, fine lines or the defined lines, I should say, in ring pours and kiss pours and all of that. It definitely does make a difference. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up um, with these colors and that should be it. So now I'm gonna clean up a little bit here, get this stuff out of my way and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my cups here so that they will face the way that I poured my colors in. And I'm gonna start here pretty soon. That way we can get going here. You can see that's where they're gonna touch, which is part of the kiss. And here we go. All right, I'm trying to be a little more patient. I'm putting definitely a lot more um, paint on the canvas than I did in the previous video. That one just didn't work out as well as I had hoped. So this one looks promising to me. All right, so now I'm gonna add some white, which is the Artist Loft White. I'm hoping maybe for a little negative space, we'll see. And then I decided to maybe put a little black, we'll see, that's the Liquitex uh, Mars Black. And I'm gonna use my spatula, spread it out, and it's magic, it's clean, so now I can spread the black. It's my favorite spatula to use, and it doesn't have to be perfect, just get it covered there. And when you use a spatula, a lot of times you get air bubbles, so I'm torching it to try to get those air bubbles out. And now it is time to move it around. I'm trying to go with the, um, the flow of it here a little bit. We'll see if I can keep some of that negative space. I don't have a good track record with that. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to extend it a little bit up to that corner there and see here. It's looking pretty good so far. Um, I think I'm going to just look at it here. Yeah, I don't know if I like it so much. So let's just keep pouring a little bit over. And I definitely don't like that black. So I think I'm just going to run it off. Um, I'm liking it a little bit better with that stretched out and I want to get that middle line kind of more centered. So pretty happy so far. All right, so now we've got the wet uh, photos so you can look. Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. 
I love that copper. Look how vibrant. Look at the detail. Oh my gosh. So happy with this one so far. Okay guys, so here's some bonus footage for you. I have a little bit of paint left in the bottom of my cups. So I thought I would just do a double flip cup really quick on an 8x8 canvas. I'm adding some extra white pearl paint around the cups. And now I'm just going to smooth it out really, really quick just to get it covered. And going to lift these. Oh, I got to pop the bubbles. Can't forget that. Now I'm going to lift the um, cups up and see what happens here. Got to pop those bubbles. Sometimes when you lift the cup, it causes those bubbles. And so now I am going to tilt and I'm trying to be mindful of the painting that is right next to me. I um, didn't want to move it because I really love my results in that one. So this one I'm just going to keep tilting until I've, I get the um, little canvas covered there. It looks kind of softer, a little bit softer than the other one. Okay, so now I'm going to pop the air bubbles for the last time. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now you're going to see the dried results. I am so happy with how this dried. The colors are nice and vibrant. And a rectangle canvas definitely works best for this technique. So hopefully if you like this video, I've got some more videos for you to check out. And I will catch you in the next video.